The main thing I want to share with you right now is the topic of why you might never be successful. The first reason I'm telling you first you can be successful as long as you make these three core fundamental shifts. The first one is your mindset. What are you putting into your mind? What are the beliefs that you have? How are you cultivating your mindset? Your existing beliefs, the existing mindset you have is contributing to your current lifestyle. The actions that you take and everything that you do in your life is all contributed based on this. The fundamental shift that I had back then from failure to where I am now building multi-million dollar businesses for clients and also internally as well is the mindset. Everything that you put in your mind, the books that you read, the videos that you consume, who you're following is extremely important. You want to make that shift where what you're telling yourself, your own inner dialogue is something that's going to power you up, something that's going to keep you moving forward with momentum, not something that holds you back. So if you're telling yourself things like you can't do this, you're a failure, this is something that you're going to struggle with, who are you to think that you can do this, then this is something that you want to change it right away. You want to keep reframing your mind to be able to tell yourself that you can do this. I have a saying that I want you to write down and make it this embedded in your mind. What you tell yourself is always going to be true. What someone else like you tells you is something that might be true. But what other people tell you that you can't relate to will never be true. So the first most important thing is the things that you tell yourself every single day. You want to prepare something where you're saying things that motivate yourself, things that are going to change your core shifts and beliefs in your mind. You want to be able to do that. That's the first thing, your mindset. You want to make that shift from negative to positive, from demotivated to motivated. The things that they're going to change, your goals, your ambitions, your dreams, whatever it is, you can do it. As long as you have the right mindset and belief to be able to put yourself in that mind space. The second most important reason why you might never be successful that you want to move away from is your environment. The people that you surround yourself with. Are you putting yourself around people that are dead, broke, they don't have anything to do with your life, they're not moving you towards where you want to be? Are they someone that's negative to you? Are they saying things, your closest friends, your closest families, telling you that you can't be successful at what you want to do? Are they telling you things that are not making you feel great every day? Are they not motivating you to succeed? Are they motivating you towards where you want to be? Or are they pushing you and holding you back? That is the biggest thing that you want to make a shift on that changed my life when I started back then. You want to be able to put yourself in people that are in the shoes of where you want to be five to 10 years from now. You want to surround yourself with even people that are on the journey right now that have that positive mindset that I talked about on the first point. So that you can be able to, when you have that four to five people that you hang around, that's going to change yourself. Because your environment molds who you are and your mindset. The more you're around specific types of people, their beliefs, their energy, their motivations, their dreams, their ambitions, their experience, everything translates over to you. But first, you have to surround yourself and put them in your environment. That's why the second most important thing is your environment. Who do you have around you? That's the most important thing. So you want to make sure you find out who is that four to five people that are the ones that are going to make the biggest difference in your life, that are where you want to be or on the journey right there and put yourself there around you. You can join things in meetups. You can do, I'm an EO, Entrepreneur Organization. I'm a YEC on Entrepreneur Council. The reason why I'm a part of all these entrepreneur groups and also private masterminds is because I want to put myself where people just like me are moving towards a specific goal. They're always motivated, they're always ambitious, or they're things that they're uh, celebrating their successes. And we also reflect on our failures. So you learn about all the things, not just what to do, but what not to do as well. Final most important recipe of why you might never be successful and the shift that you wanna make is perseverance and understanding the sacrifices that you have to make on the path to be able to become successful with whatever it is that you wanna do. Even if you wanna be successful in business, in your personal life, you must make sure that you have the discipline and you understand the trade-offs and the risks that you're making in that specific place. So that's one of the biggest things you want to understand what is the sacrifice that you want to do and have the discipline, the process to be able to get there. That's the third most important thing. If you're just doing something randomly, you're never going to be, you're never going to be able to be successful. The focus, laser dedication and focus on that one thing that you want to do and not scrambling yourself or having shiny object syndrome is one of the most fundamental aspects of why most people fail. People fail because they jump around doing multiple different things instead of having that laser focus on that one thing that's gonna make them most successful in what, everything that they wanna do. I came from an immigrant background in Taiwan. My family brought me here, my mom specifically. I didn't have anything when I grew up. We had to go from, we moved a lot of all of our resources just to get here and settle down. From that point on, I had to build everything from there and I was able to do it. So there's no reason why you can't do it too. I'm not the smartest person. I just surround myself with people that are extremely smart, 
and people that are extremely successful, they can share their successes and their failures. And at the same time, that molds my mindset. I've always been extremely careful of the mindset, things that I feed into my mind, what I tell myself, what is my inner dialogue. That self-awareness is the most important thing as well. If you want to give me a, a fourth important ingredient, what is the self-awareness like inside of you? All the things that you're saying to yourself. Pay attention to that because that is what's going to make the differentiator between why you might never be successful and why you might be the most successful person out there. So thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed that, I just wanted you to make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm looking forward to helping you not just personally develop, but grow your business online.